So when it comes to features, these are the features that are included in Predator Stormbreaker Curtle. To explain the differences between these two, I will also add an image which will explain all of the things properly. And here is the benchmark score for Predator Stormbreaker Kernel and it looks nice. Also the CPU throttling test results look good, but is it better? Let's find it out. So Nexus Kernel is based on Predator Stormbreaker Kernel which means the features will be same as it is. But there are things that are added and I will explain it in the comparison part. Here is the benchmark result with Nexus kernel and the difference between these two is a little bit. Multicore score is a bit higher and for CPU throttling test result, max and average is higher while the CPU throttle down to 89% which is same in both case. Frequent breaks and play responsibly. Team match, let's go. And play responsibly. Team match, let's go. The blue team has scored for the first time! Cover me! Nice shot! So for gaming, both of them is almost the same, while the Nexus kernel can be a bit better and can provide a little bit more stable FPS. So you can use any of these as the performance difference is not that huge. Also both of the gameplay is recorded at 720p and without using any magisk module to boost performance. So Predator Stormbreaker kernel is built from scratch whereas Nexus kernel is based on Predator Stormbreaker kernel. So the Predator kernel is close to stock and it is debloated for fast and stable experience while the Nexus kernel is based on same thing so the performance and stability can be same and it has some extra features in it too which I will explain after this. Predator Stormbreaker kernel doesn't support any kind of overclocking like CPU, GPU or even screen whereas Nexus kernel support overclocking for screen only. Nexus kernel supports multiple devices and Predator Stormbreaker kernel only support Lavender which is Redmi Note 7. Both of these kernel have a nice support group and the developers are friendly too. So these are the things between these two kernels and now let's have a look at the benchmark comparison and then features comparison. So for left side we got Predator Stormbreaker kernel and for right side we have Nexus kernel. So as you can see Predator Stormbreaker kernel have a higher single core score by just 1 point and for multi core score Nexus kernel is higher by 16 points. Though the performance difference is not that huge, it is just 1 point and 16 points respectively. Predator Stormbreaker kernel can be good in single core task whereas Nexus kernel can be good in multi core task. CPU throttling test results also shows that the difference between these two kernels is not that huge. Average score on Predator's kernel is 144 whereas on Nexus it is 148 while the CPU throttled down to 89 on both of these kernels. And the temperature was at 45 degrees after completing the test on both of these kernels. So now let's have a comparison between features. 
So for features, these are the features in Predator Stormbreaker kernel and for Nexus kernel it is same but there are some extra features. These are the extra features of a Nexus kernel and these features are not available in Predator Stormbreaker kernel. So in the end Nexus kernel is a little bit better than Predator Stormbreaker kernel and I didn't test with battery life as my battery health is degraded. So if you want just a little bit better performance then go with Nexus kernel otherwise you can use Predator Stormbreaker kernel. Whether it is gaming or anything else both of these kernel can handle it easily. Just make sure that the ROM is pretty good and thanks for watching also follow me on Instagram. You are the reason, man.